brothers welcome back to territorial.io we are starting off today here in a 50 person free-for-all battle here in europe now we are playing uh in our spot i'm just kind of curious this spot has actually been kind of uh not very good recently i'm actually gonna leave it uh it's just become very crowded i don't know what the reasoning is it's not a very good spot just because i spot there spawn there it's a very b tier spot and those are the type of spots you need to kind of look for in the map this is a bad spot. We are surrounded by a lot of players. It's gonna be very hard for us to get out of here, but it's okay. That's kind of the price we pay for moving at the very end. It's always chaos when that happens and you try and make that decision. We're surrounded by Polska, Duchy of Polska, Russia, Yemen, and Italia. And Crimea is down there and Crimea as well. So what is our goal here? Well, we do, if we can get a little bit bigger than our uh, the people around us, we stand a chance. We stand a chance. There are full sins in this game, so there's a possibility we could take advantage of some drama if we're big enough to kind of maintain it. Now, we actually get into third position overall, so not necessarily a bad start for us, but that position is quickly going to fade as we don't have a lot of land to really expand into. A lot of our bots are contested, and uh, my, my saving grace, I think, is being able to push down south. So I'm gonna really try that. I'm gonna deny Marta. Keep going down south. Italy is definitely going to be trying to cut me off, so I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here. I have enough troops to do this. I'm still in the top five, but as you can see, I am falling. So I'm going to continue to keep pushing down south. There's actually a number of bots down here. This is really good for me. Okay, this is actually kind of turning into an interesting scenario where I'm very much racing Italy to get down south. I'm very much winning that battle, though. As you can see, I've turned the corner on him, and now I can continue to go south where he's a little bit locked in. So let's continue this aggression. If we don't do it now, we're probably going to lose. This is one of those risks you almost have to take. Grace, there we go. I was about to say, Grace is not a risk at 5,000 troops, but definitely one at 1,000. So we'll continue to grab as much of this land as possible. And there we go. So a nice little start for us here. And uh, we will take this truce with you. Duchy of Polska is going down. We do have about 300,000 troops, so we can mess around here and go into Duchy of Polska. I'm just kind of waiting. Yeah, let's go now to see if there was gonna be a full stint, but at this point, it doesn't matter. They don't have the troops. So now we have some interesting borders. Polska looks like they were friends with Duchy of Polska because he's very much going into Russia. I am gonna wait to, for this one to go a little bit longer. I actually have a great opportunity down south. Let's do this. This is a great opportunity. Oh, oh darn it. I missed out a little bit of land there. Bot Lu is gonna get all of that. That's a little bit unfortunate, but my consolation prize will be GC as that is a lot of land and then Polska is weak enough for me to take out. So I've maintained a top five position overall, despite a very interesting start. So now we'll just continue to save. Let's get some truces out with the boys, see who's interested. I do want a truce with Lee and definitely Yemen. I have no desires to go into Lemon, at least for the time being, and I don't really want to go into BNM either. So we'll just continue to sit here. My plan is to save up and uh, get to red interest and then probably attack Italia. That one makes a lot of sense for me. Not everyone, not a lot of players have borders on. Italia. Now, Beirut below asked for a truce. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him the truce and just kind of sit from here. I imagine he's going to want to attack Bot Lu. I have no designs to attack that bot right or that player right away. So I'm just going to continue to keep saving up, building up my interest. I am in third place, so I don't need to make any rash decisions by any means. This is the crown right here. We have found him. He is not that far away. And I imagine he's going to be working his way down south very shortly. So we'll just continue to keep waiting here building up our troops, looking at the rest of the world, seeing if anything crazy is happening. And not really, no, everyone's kind of in the same boat of we need to save, so save we will. And at this point, uh, what am I looking for? Well, I'm looking to see if anybody's full sending on each other. I do. You wanna keep tabs on what the rest of the world, but now that we're at red interest, we're gonna get started going in Italy. I am being very cautious in attacking it. the same amount that I'll probably attack a bot, mostly because I'm scared of the people around me and there, if there's a gang up opportunity, they would all go in now. Yemen and BNM probably wouldn't. They're touching the crown, but it's just best to be safe than sorry. There's the full send from Italy. Doesn't hurt that much. That's perfectly fine. Yemen gets in there just at the end. Very opportunistic play on his end. Now BNM wants to go into Yemen. Not necessarily the worst move, not necessarily the best. The reason I say that is it's gonna feed the crown a little bit of land. Not that much though. It might actually be a little bit smart, but Beirut's going into Bot Lu. This is interesting because I'd much prefer to go into Bot Lu and have shared borders with Beirut and then maybe us kind of work together on the rest of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and join in on this escapade, taking out Bot Lu as much as I can, being very cautious still. As this is a developing world and we don't know exactly what's going to happen, the black player is just sitting up there with 60,000 troops, though. He's not doing anything. He's just he's got so much land and so much opportunity. He's very scary. But I think he's being held at bay ever so slightly by the BNM Yemen 
Lilo and player four Alliance, even maybe even Maximus. As if he goes into one, they all might jump on him, and that might be a smart move for them. I'm gonna stick out of that drama altogether. No need for me to weaken one of those players that's kind of keeping the crown at bay, especially when I have potentially an alliance with uh, Beirut. Although he is not helping me out very much in this uh, in this attack, I very much feel like he's trying to bait out the full send against me, and then he's just gonna try and take all the land. But even if that happens, I'm still in the best position to get most of the land, so I'm not fearful of this full send. And at this point, I just gotta do something. I can't just sit back here in second place and hope for the best. I'm Okay, there's the full send from Botlu. Very well deserved that I got that. Let's go ahead and get on this. Beirut has distracted over in the west. Ooh, we get a bunch of land out of this. We're at 60,000. We actually get the crown out of this. So all's well that ends well. Yemen has broken the, um, the truce and attacked me. That's interesting. Okay, so we know we can't really trust him, especially because he did it and then didn't apologize. If he had apologized and asked for the truce, perfectly fine. We'll move on with our day, but that's kind of signaling that like, Hey, what are you going to do about it? And what I'm going to do about it is probably attack Yemen as I am at red interest. This does feed the player on the black player above though, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and go into Yemen, especially as he got into a weakened state. He gives the broken heart. Maybe he didn't even recognize that he attacked me first, but at this point I've attacked him and uh, bygones be bygones. It's probably not something that's going to happen in this. I need to grow or die. Beirut's getting absolutely massive. Oh, okay. Do I keep being in around? I think so, just because we have an alliance. Hopefully that will last. Uh, Yemen wants me to go into BNM. I don't really foresee that happening. I don't think that's a smart strategy at all. I think our best play is probably still to go into Yemen, but maybe we could wait for the uh, the VAC play, we're gonna call him, because there's no way. Bavak, we'll call him that. Uh, we'll wait for Bavak to uh, attack Yemen. There's a big full send on Queen. Wow, I don't know what Yemen did to that man, but it must have been something terrible. Let's go ahead and go into Yemen now. He's in a very weakened state. We're at, we have a lot of troops. Beirut's joining in, which will give us shared borders on the player on the block of uh, that. And now we're in an interesting position. We have our two allies as our borders and then the crown. How are we gonna get out of this? Well, let's try and signal to everybody that we want to attack. Yes, I agree. Let's attack the crown. I think this is a good moment for us to do it. It will strengthen BNM, but maybe we could work together on whoever's gonna be the next crown. It's not gonna be me, I'm too far behind. I only have 88,000 pixels. It will probably be in realistic Beirut. And we do get that truce with Benjamin. So who's gonna go first? BNN's signaling, yeah, let's do this, come on. Uh, he probably wants me to go first. I'm waiting for Beirut though, let's just go. Let's just go, I'm in. Benjamin is getting absolutely attacked. Beirut is joining in. Let's get aggressive with this. Benjamin just needs to hold in this position, but he is counterattacking in Ben Beirut. Oh, he takes out a valuable ally. And now he might get the crown. This is not a good position. This is not a good position for us to be in, but there's not a lot we can do. Even if I take out Bavac and BNN gets the land, I don't think BNN's going to have borders on Beirut. So... Now what do we do? I think the solution here is we peace with this guy. Let him take down BNM. Hopefully BNM full sends him. We grab that land and then maybe work together on taking out Beirut or maybe Beirut and I work on taking up a vac, but unfortunately I do th feel like I can't do anything with this ally and doing so would probably incur the wrath of Beirut who is very much mobbing up people who are not in the way of the crown. He's kind of, he's playing this very smart. He's playing it very selfishly. He is playing absolutely to win and he doesn't really want to help anybody else along the way. I'm sorry, BNM. There's nothing I can do at this point. I have to kind of be at my own, for my own survival. I would love to help you out, but it wouldn't make much of a difference. And I just get stabbed in the back. So Beirut's now attacking the crown. Martha wants to go into Beirut. I agree with that. Okay, there's the B, there's the full send from BNM. Fortunately, the Bayvac guy doesn't recognize it i'm sorry bnm you played well uh it just what it just wasn't going to work out positionally for us to to be allied together it would just been my own demise being sandwiched in between two players like that so now what do we do we hope beirut actually does some attacks he is very much kind of just letting everybody else do a lot of the work and then reaping the benefits i'm very worried about martha martha really wants to go into beirut and i don't think martha would be strong enough to help me take out bavak i could be wrong in that aspect but I'm just gonna sit back and wait for these two to fight. Okay, I'm actually gonna attack the crown. I have a good borders on the crown. Let's give this guy a heart, say we're in this together. I'm here. Hopefully Beirut helps. 
Martha is just sitting back, which is exactly what they need to do. And this is interesting. This is interesting. I'm not really sure what to do here. I have attacked, but Beirut's not helping. I, I almost think he's trying to... Okay, there's a big attack. Okay, now that he's in, I'm in. Let's go. We can start whittling down the crown's numbers and get through this together. I will get a good chunk of this land. I'm not sure if I'll get enough to catch up to Beirut, but now that the land has kind of been dispersed a little bit, I'm not that far off of him. Avak is really dispersing his troops heavily. Brother, I'm going to say shield up. Uh, yes, we are going to do that, but uh, it does require a bit of patience as if we're going to betray Beirut, and that's only if he gets to the crown, Let's wait until we get down this other guy. There's no sense in us going into this guy right now and then having to fight off the crown who's just going to get continuously stronger. He, the crown has a pretty big advantage. If we had attacked when he wanted to, he would have had a 20,000 pixel advantage. Beirut actually gets the crown now. And now Martha is going into Beirut. That is very foolish. And now Beirut's probably... Okay. So now I've basically absorbed the aggression from Beivat. I should have stopped attacking. Martha is now attacking into Beirut. I'm going to tell him to shield and hopefully Beirut helps me continue to fight down this guy. Nope, he's going into Martha. Okay, so everything's bad now. Uh, Martha, it's a, it's a bad position, brother. It's a bad position you're in. I do have a little bit more troops than the crown, but I don't think it's worth attacking anymore. Beirut's just going to take out Martha and then clean the board. So, what can we do? We wait. We just wait. There's not a lot we can do in this situation. In fact, I'm going to zoom up through this and get to uh, next kind of developing situation. Okay, Martha has full sent the empire. We have gotten a truce with uh, the uh, the with Bavak. Beirut has not been a team player this entire time. He's very much been self focused, and uh, I don't. I feel like he would feed me to the wolves as much as I'm feeding him to the wolves. So. We're just going to keep attacking. Bavak is very... Okay, I'm caught between two people who don't want to be teammates. Bavak watches attacks. They don't do anything. He had, does have a wide border, but look at that. He was at like seven, uh, 17 million. He went down to 60 million. So he's only attacking for 1 million, which is smaller than the attacks that I'm doing. So now I'm in a situation where what do I do? Do I let these two fight it out? Do I continue to attack Beirut? Beirut... I'm kind of hoping we'll full send Bavak, but Bavak is playing very coy. I don't have a good ally in this one. I wouldn't mind going to the end with one player, but neither of these players has really been uh, helpful in helping me. So again, I'm a team player. I don't mind taking second place if I can't get first and it helps an ally, but neither of these guys are really allies at this point. They're just kind of, we're all opportunistic together. Bavak does get the crown. And now I sit back and wait. Beirut has a lot more troops than me. And uh, a lot more troops, or a little bit more troops than Bavak. He can kind of start lifting his own weight if he wants to. There's no reason for him to lie down and die. So again, we're just going to take a little moment and zoom through this. Okay, huge development. The crown is left. He absolutely must have tabbed out or something because he was just sitting on max cap not doing anything. Or he got really frustrated with the game. But now it becomes that game again at who is going to eat the full sins from the bot. Now, Beirut gave a huge attack in there. He's got the troops to do that. I don't. I really got to pick my time. And hopefully the bot will attack him more. I got to pick the right moment to do this. The bot attacks me. Perfectly fine. It was a smaller attack. I prefer him to go back into Beirut. Uh, let's go. Let's go now. Well, let's go now. This might be our moment. Beirut does get the crown. We can hold here. And wait, build up our troops a little bit. Now go. Uh, okay, honestly, misplayed. Misplayed. We're not going to have enough land. Yep, Beirut's immediately attacking me. And unfortunately, I did not. I just went too early. I went too early. I should have waited. I got impatient. And Beirut is going to walk away with this one. There's nothing we can do. We can fight him down, but unfortunately, it is not going to work out for us. We get the crown. No, no. We can maybe. No, it's too late. It's too late. We're so close, but it just is not going to happen for us. I'm just going to keep fighting just in case there's a chance. But at this point, no, he's got 3 million. We've got 1.2. It's over for us. So we will give him the claps of good sportsmanship and start to wrap things up here. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far on the episode. If you haven't made it this far on the episode, hey, you give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.